Hey there, Bible buddies. I've got another Bible review for you today. Uh, and this one is kind of an odd duck. This is uh, one that I took it upon myself to customize, uh, and it might not have turned out as awesome as I was hoping it <laughs> it would have. Uh, but nonetheless, I want to review it because I do have it, and I think it might be useful to somebody out there if they're interested in this particular edition. Uh, so this one is the compact edition of the God's Word translation. Um, now, I reviewed the God's Word translation before, uh, and they do have um, a couple of editions available. I'm not sure if this one is available on their website. Uh, I had placed an order with them and they kind of threw this in with some other materials. Um, so I'm, I'm not too sure if this one is kind of uh, available by itself or um, if you have to kind of like call and ask for it in person or if they just kind of have one lying around. Uh, so if it is available, I will leave it in the description below. Uh, otherwise, let's take a look, shall we? So we have the box here. Uh, a nice little two-piece box with a clear kind of window here. I'll take a look at the edge there, and I'll leave it there so you guys can pause it if you need to. Let me see the ISBN number. And the information, I'll show you the back as well. You can kind of pause periodically so that you can read it if you'd like. There you go. Go ahead and get into it. Like I said, a two-piece box. Um... And it's just kind of white on the inside. And uh, yeah, kind of simple. So uh, as, far, as far as the Bible goes, <laughs> it did not come this way. Um, I think that it came with a brown ribbon. If I remember correctly, I think it just had a single brown ribbon. Uh, and again, this is back when I was going nuts on um, Bible customizations. So my idea here, my thought was uh, I've always liked kind of brown gold and this kind of like baby blue or sky blue, powder blue, whatever you want to call it. Um, so I've always liked this color combination, so I figured, hey, why not? You know, it might look nice. Uh, so this is a synthetic cover material, I think. I want to say it's Duravella, I think is what they call it, but I could be totally wrong on that. Um, it might have said on the packaging. <laughs> so I'll annotate it if I can find it or if I figure it out. Um, but otherwise, uh, yeah, it's, it's uh, just a synthetic cover material here. It does feel pretty nice. It doesn't, don't get me wrong, it's not leather, um, but it is a pretty convincing fake leather. Uh, I mean, certainly you can tell the difference if you sit there and kind of finagle it. Uh, and it definitely doesn't smell like leather or anything like that. But uh, it's it's a pretty pretty close representation of what leather should be. I don't know if you guys can see the grain there. There is a perimeter stitching around the edge. And it looks like it to be a, maybe a gold um, or a light brown stitch there. I can't really tell. I have terrible eyes. I apologize. Uh, on this spine, it's smooth. There's no uh, ribs or anything like that. It does say the God's Word translation, Holy Bible. And then it has the logo for uh, Baker, I think it is. Yeah, Baker Books. Uh, that's their logo. On the back you have the ISBN number imprinted, which I am not a fan of. I think we can move that inside and kind of leave the cover, cover clean, but uh, it's there imprinted in gold uh, along with the perimeter stitching that continues. And here you go. You can see my nice art gilt job there. So originally it was just uh, gold. It just had gold gilt. Uh, and I changed out the ribbons, like I said. Uh, or I don't know if I said that, but I changed out the ribbons. I put a single gold or uh, two... I put two ribbons. Both of them are double-sided satin. Uh, one is this gold and one, again, is that light blue. Uh, and then it does have uh, brown head and tail bands that it came with. Uh, and then I applied some art guild to it. I do not remember what color art guild this was, and I did a very poor job of it. Uh, you can see how excellent it looks on the top. And on the bottom, it looks pretty good. But on the side, wah, 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 wah. <laughs> it looks super uh, wonky. And the reason for this is that the art guilt, um, you know, expectedly it was, it's not the best, uh, guilt they used on this, like the most durable. So, um, you know, it's kind of prone to rub off. Uh, and on top of that, when you do, when you apply art guilt, this is like one of the first ones that I did. Uh, I was very heavy with the kind of wiping. So I would like get my little, well, I don't remember what I used. I don't know, foam dip or whatever, whatever it is used for, for art guilt. But I would dip it in the ink, and then I would like brush it on and brush it on and brush it on. Dip it, brush it, brush it, brush it. Dip it, dip it, brush it, brush it, brush it. And whenever you're brushing it, uh, that's that's obviously that's abrasive. That motion, you're you're rubbing against it, so you're rubbing the gilt off. So you can see here where I brushed it a lot, that gilt is almost completely gone, uh, and here it's almost completely gone, and then it's kind of spotty. The actual gold gilt uh, is spotty. So this is what happens if you brush it and rub it too much. Uh, when you do art gilt, you should definitely blot it on um, because that's going to be certainly less you know less scraping. You're just blotting it on. It's not like rubbing any gilt off. So definitely blot, don't rub when you guys do your art gilt, just on the side. Uh, we'll go ahead and get into it. This is another thing I did. Um, I found this blue banana paper, it's called, uh, and I liked it because it had a little little flecks of yellow banana in it still. So it kind of ties together the blue and gold theme. And I thought it was interesting. 
Uh, I'll show you the corner work there for whatever it is not worth because it's fairly visible. And then on the back, the same thing, that blue banana paper continues. Uh, and you do have a little bit of corner work there, again, for whatever it's worth. I'll go ahead and get into it. So, uh, yeah, and I, I literally, when I apply this banana paper, I just cut it down to size and glued it right on. I didn't bother taking off the old line or anything. I'm like, eh, it's thin enough, it'll do. <laughs> just slapped it right on there. Ah, uh, good times. Uh, so then we have God's Word, God's Word Translation, the presentation page. And there is a little verse down there in a script that is very hard to read. But I'll let you guys take a look. After the uh, presentation page, we have the title page, God's Word, God's Word Translation by Baker Books. And we have the copyright page. I'll go ahead and zoom in there. This font is pretty small in this one. Uh, so just an aside, and this looks also like it was the first printing of 2011 and was printed in China. It doesn't say specifically who, at least as far as I can tell, who, whoever they would have used. And then we have the table of contents. And then the alphabetical table of contents and the preface to the God's, words, God's Word translation. I'm going to keep tripping over that, this whole, this whole thing. Uh, and then you have the Old Testament title page. And Genesis. Go ahead and get you in there so you guys can see it. It's a pretty nice layout, very clean. I'll turn the page so we can see it better. So you have your starting uh, chapter and verse, and then your ending chapter and verse up in the top corners. Your page number is in the center of the page. There's a nice little dividing line there. Uh, and then it does look like there are very minimal footnotes here. I'll show you a couple of them so you guys can see if you can read it. Yeah, very minimal footnotes there. There's no cross-references or anything like that. Um, and it is a double-column paragraph. I'm not sure if I said that. And it does look like there's some poetic settings here. So we'll go ahead and flip through it a little bit. And there are running headers, obviously. You guys can see that. I feel like sometimes I point these things out and I'm like, they probably know it by now. Certainly, if they're watching all these videos, one would assume... But maybe, maybe one day, maybe this will be the video that gets 10,000 new viewers and I'll have all these new subscribers and they'll wonder, what are those, what are these? What are those? They're running headers or subject headers, whatever you want to call them. They're wonderful things that tell you where, about where you are in the Bible. All right. Oh, look at this. Okay. So this is excellent. Uh, so this is the poetic setting and they did an excellent thing here. Uh, I love this. Uh, so here they switched, you can see, from a double column paragraph to a single column layout. Uh, and this is great because it gives the po the poetry a lot more room to breathe. Um, you, you know, you can get better kind of better flowing lines. You can kind of do whatever kind of poetic layout you want to do, uh, and you have certainly a lot more room to do it. Um, so I love this. Let's go ahead and get you in tight there. You can also see the show through the paper. It's about average, about on par with what's expected for the size. I'm not sure the GSM, so sorry about that. But it's a nice nice enough paper, nice white color. No blue cast aside from the edges, right? You can see my the lovely dye job did come out nice. It's just uh, you know the, the gilt did not hold up well. I butchered that poor gilt. All right, let's go, let's go to the New Testament. We'll take a look here. I think it's just the New Testament title page there. Yep, the end of Malachi, New Testament title page, and then Matthew. And we'll take a look and see if it's black letter or red letter. And I believe it's a black letter. Yep, there you go. Matthew six and seven. It's all black letter. So not too shabby. We'll flip to the end right quick. There's a little section that helps here, it looks like. So we have the end of the Bible there, Revelation 22. We have Bible study helps. The teachings of Jesus. So it's kind of a topical index specifically for Jesus. You have different things, truth, yeast, submission. And you have the application index. And you have your dictionary concordance. This is a very small dictionary concordance. Uh, you know, it's kind of basic, you know, get the job done kind of deal. Good enough for government work, that sort of thing. Well, it's just a few pages there from, yeah, 1181 to 1200, so like 20 pages. Not very large, but, you know, good enough for basic concordance. Uh, there's a reading plan here. Now, I'm curious if it goes to February 29th or February 28th. February 28th, that's the way to do it, Thomas Nelson. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, so you have your reading plan, and then you just have uh, one blank sheet here, uh, and the end, the end sheet, the flyleaf. So, 
Uh, let's go ahead and get you some measurements. We'll go from there. So this comes in at six inches and four, about six and five eighths inches tall by four and a half inches wide. And it's pretty thin, not super thin, but it's a good size. And right at an inch, right at an inch thick. So good little size there, very portable. Let's get a size on the font. I'm not expecting much to be honest because it's kind of a small font. Start with the lowercase here, and we'll do the M and me. Ooh, it's getting small. It's getting small. Oh my. Oh my, indeed. Uh, looks to be about a six and a half point font for the lowercase in comparison to Times New Roman. And then we'll do the E and examine, and we'll start at a six and a half. Yeah, about a six point font uh, Times New Roman for the uppercase. So, uh, small font, certainly. Um, but it is a very small and compact edition. Uh, if you guys are fans of the God's Word translation, uh, which is uh, more of a uh, kind of a thought for thought translation, uh, not so much a, a word for word translation. Um, but if you guys are interested, I do have another video on two other larger Bibles that they offer. Uh, so if you're interested in the God's Word translation, you want something a little bit bigger, um, go ahead and check out that video. Otherwise, Bible buddies, I will try and find a link for this one if it's available on their site uh un, unedited it won't look like this but it'll it'll be similar <laughs> not so butchered poor bible um <laughs> if you have any uh questions comments leave them below otherwise if you could please like comment subscribe all the happy stuff uh bible buddies until next time bye